My mom definitely gives me a lot of advice when I'm making dumplings. A little bit too much advice. But when I'm home alone, I do whatever I want to. <laughs> right after law school, I realized that I loved developing new recipes, taking pictures of my food, and sharing them with the community, even more so than being a lawyer. I never would have thought that I would be someone whom people know for making dumplings. There are a lot of variations, but there are three main categories. Wontons, from the Cantonese pronunciation, which is wonton, it literally means cloud swallow. So when you're eating it, it's the sensation of the silky smooth dumpling. Pot stickers, or guo tie in Mandarin, guo tip in Cantonese. I like pot stickers with 12 pleats on them. It just looks like a really pretty fan. Whereas my mom thinks fewer pleats means a better dumpling because it's less doughy. I love the crispy texture of it. The soup dumplings or the xiaolongbao, the liquid inside the dumpling is scalding hot. The proper way of eating xiaolongbao is to take a quick bite to let some of the steam out. Unless you are a glutton for torture, you can just go at it. So many people use Pinterest for recipe inspiration, and so I want to make sure they find my recipes. I use Pinterest as a creator to promote my own content. When I first started out, I was able to make sure that even for a small website like mine, there would be a lot of people who would see the content I create. I just want to encourage people to cook. I love sharing a part of my family and my culture with other people. For years, my mom would say, why can't you just become a lawyer? But I think my mom is finally starting to understand because she is a part of it now. Really good. <laughs> <laughs>